All right. Well, Mark Stiles is here, and we were going to talk uh, maybe about uh, what charitable giving. Yeah. So a lot of people talk about charitable giving when it's uh, with respect to, you know, when they die, right? So <clears throat> Marshfield Education Foundation, for example, raises money. A lot of people donate to it. My company has been donating to it since the very beginning. But we're giving it now. So a lot of people will say, you know what, I've, I've got this amount of money. I can't take it with me. What about giving it to someone like the Alice's House, right? So a vision mm -hmm. of somebody that you're really, you know, supportive of and really buy into the mission, MEF. Like you can leave that through proper planning. And Ben and the estate planning team can help you with that vision, right? So I want to give to my school. I want to give to the MEF. I want to give to Alice's house upon my death, right? So you can't take it with you, but there's conversations you want to definitely be having with financial advisors and CPAs with respect to that because the other thing you can be doing is giving now. You know, there's a lot of tax strategies that go along with uh, estate planning and financial advice that is really impactful you know if you ignore certain tax consequences it's hundreds of thousands of dollars yep. that are that are sent to the government that could have been directed to other places such as your family or the charity of your choice so you know we encourage people to think about those givings now what about people though uh, who want to as you said you can't take it with you but they want to give it all to their kids right? you know, I mean, that's always uh, you know, it's such an interesting dilemma as we speak with people who are planning out their future and, yeah. you know, the next uh, stage of their uh, existence, right, moving on to the, the next level. Um, a lot of people are very concerned about that, and you want to be very compassionate about it. Me, I can only share experiences what, you know, Mrs. Stiles and I are attempting to do, and that's really to educate our kids. And I loved last week, I'm showing my my Instagram folks, this book where you interviewed the authors of Not So Common Sense yes. with, the, with the word sense, like pennies and nickels. And it's a National Geographic kids book. And it's, it's wonderful, but it's, it's such an un, misunderstood phenomenon. The finance, there's so many people, it talks to all these financial advisors, and so many people are allergic to money, like understanding it. They don't want to understand it they don't want to budget they don't want to you know think about it in a way that makes sense what we're tr hoping to do is to teach our kids early be really transparent this is what money is this is the this is income coming in this is ex you know expenses going out these are taxes you know this is how compounding works right this is how budgeting works credit cards aren't free money Right, so early on, you know, this is the college tuition. Look at it, this is a lot of money, right? Let's think about this very closely, right? So if you get them to stand on their own, then you don't have to worry about that, mm -hmm. right? And you can live that life that you want, right? In retirement or whatever, you can leave whatever to your kids too, but you could live knowing that your kids are standing on their own and then you can start giving, right? to those charities close to your heart, like Alice's House, which Charity 365 is focusing on here for February. And then we'll be at the MEF road race in March, which is awesome. So don't forget, folks, February 11th, you don't get t-shirts, which are awesome. These wicked, always great, long sleeve running shirts. You got to sign up by February 11th for that, though. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Well, be sure you do that. And then um, you're saying to have these conversations with the children early on to help early. them be able to um, navigate because obviously if no one's told what to do that's why we get into trouble well that's the definition of ignorance right it's not your fault you weren't taught it yeah right we so again sharing experiences you know my kids were little during the meltdown right 2007 2008 and Sheila Bear the um, former chairman of the FDIC during that whole debacle wrote a kid's book Oh, it was wow. yeah, it's excellent. It's uh, Rock and Rock and Brock, the savings jock, and it's about two <laughs> boys who both get two dollars from their grandparents and you know what they do with it, and it's really fascinating and it's amazing, and it's that teach through fun with the kids, but help them stand on their own so you can enjoy your life. Yeah, absolutely, and then you don't get into those issues uh, later on. That's right. You know. That's right. Where the kids are looking at you going. 
why are you spending that money? Right. That's weird. mine. Yeah. So it's that's just a, a weird kind that, of conversation. That's a, that's a Dr. Joe conversation. Okay. Right yeah. Let's gonna, bring him in okay. on that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, as far as having the conversations about what you need to do with uh, savings and charitable giving and to get some advice about uh, the best time to do that, of course, when it's time to think about your future, it's important to sit down with a great team over at Styles Law on Route 139 in Marshfield and have the conversations when it comes to planning and specifically wanting to achieve your goals personally. Yes, you love your children, but there are things that you want to do as well, right? Yeah, and, and you know, we had our strategic coach in uh, last week to really analyze our business very closely, and he, and he pinpointed us, you know, what what is your mission? And it's to help people. Ultimately, at the end of the day, it's to help people, which is why Charity 365 is so dear to our heart, but it's also why we focus on proactive planning, helping you so that you're not in a really reactive situation where, you know, lawyers get a bad name because people are in desperate situations, but you can be proactive and handle a lot of this up front so you never have to deal with stuff like that. Mm-hmm. All right. Get in touch with the great team over at Styles Law, Route 139 in Marshfield. And Mark, if people want to talk more to you and your great team, how do they do that? Uh, the best way is to call us at 781-319-1900. Again, 781-319-1900. And if you're looking for a state planning consultation, no commitment uh, meeting, free consultation, uh, we'll get you with Ben's team and the estate planning team. And we're looking for the green sprouts of real estate. So uh, we're, seeing that, we're seeing that starting to pick up, Rob. Interest rates are not. I heard uh, your registrar of deeds talking about last month. But we're seeing uh, the... the, the the windshield is big. The rear view mirrors are small. We're looking for a fun spring in the real estate department. So where we can help you there, please let us know. All right. Styles Law. Mark Styles is with us every Friday at this time for Feel Good Friday. Styles-law.com is the website. He's with us every Friday. Mark, thank you so much. Have yourself a wonderful weekend. Thank you, Rob. Talk soon, everybody.